What's going on, Easy Agent Pro? Is in today's video, I'm going to be going over lookalike audiences, how to create them, and why you want to be running them. I believe they're very important when it comes to keeping your ad spend low and in increasing your conversions. Let's get right into the video today about lookalike audiences. So, lookalike audiences are pretty much audiences that get created based off of people that have already seen or been to seen your website, seen your Facebook page, interacted with your Facebook page. And so say that you have a house that you had put up for sale and that you had ran some ads to. And if you have your Facebook pixel installed onto your website, people that went to your website would have gotten a cookie put into their browser and that information gets reported back to Facebook. And Facebook creates an audience based off of those types of people. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the people that created the people that went to your website, it creates an audience of people that are like that. So say that this person liked, uh, was, you know, a single woman that was in her thirties that liked X, Y, and Z. Facebook is going to create an audience around that of other women who are in the same area that also like the same things that are also similar to her that may also like your property. So it's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to your targeting and save you a lot of money when it comes to your conversion. So let's get right into actually doing this. So when you get over to your actual ad creation page, this thing works in just about every single type of ad. You want to go over to custom audiences and you want to go to create new. So once you come over here, you want to go, you can either create a custom audience and this is for uh, if you want to just target people that have already interacted with your business, or you can go down here to look like audience for people that are similar to people that have interacted with your business. So you want to click on look alike audience for this ad. So there are multiple ways that you can create a lookalike audience and the custom audience tab here you go in the source area so you're going to want to click on create new and go down to custom to custom audience when you're in here you have multiple options you can create one off of a customer file off of which is you know if you're uploading information so say you have these people inside of your database or your crm you want to upload that to create a lookalike audience off of that uh, if you want to do one for website traffic for people that came to your website but you don't have a lot all of their uh, crm if you don't have all of their contact information or you can also do engagement which is people that have uh, liked your liked commented shared your content on facebook or instagram so they're all going to be pretty much the same for how you create them. I'm going to go over to customer file. I'm going to go through each one so I can show you the quick and dirty way to do it. Customer file, you can either import from MailChimp if you use MailChimp or you can copy and paste or use a Excel file uh, on your own. So with an Excel file, you would just upload the file right here or you can go into copy paste and you can literally just control or command V and paste your data in here. And these are the different types of criteria that you can use. You can use from email, phone number, uh, first, last name, and anybody in certain zip codes, uh, date of birth, and all of this information is information that you can copy and paste here. And after you have it here, you can name your audience and Facebook is going to create a lookalike audience off of that. So let's go back over here to website traffic. So say you're going to do it off of website traffic and people that had already interacted with your website from one of your ads or wherever else. You have multiple ways that you can do this. You can take a look at website visitors in the past 30 days or however many days you want it to be. You can change it to people who visit a specific web page. So say you had a specific house that you were showing or a specific house that you had people going to, you can target that specific web web page uh, by time spent on your web page so if people that had spent more than say five minutes on your website in the past 30 days these are people that are very knowledgeable of your content these are people that already know you and like you because they've already spending a lot of time on your website this is when you can go here and say you can target it based on say the top 25% of the people that have went there the top 5% of people that have been there the top 10% and you can change up the, de the amount of days and also the specific website that you want to do it on. So that and also to go off of that the same way that you create your audience and then 
I'm sorry, create the name of your audience, then click on create audience and you are good to go. Now going back and going into engagement, which is the last one that we would use, you can do it for video lead form. So if you don't have any sort of lead generating website, which you should, seeing as how Easy Agent Pro is having a sales where you can uh, sign up for the first month for $1, you can use that instead of lead forms. But if you want to use lead forms, you can do it right here. People that have interacted with your Facebook page or and if you have an Instagram, you can do it there as well so by clicking on any of these you're gonna have multiple options so say video um, you can have people that viewed at least three seconds of your video ten seconds of your video and different amounts of your video and then you can change the amount of days and then name the audience and you can create your audience there the same with a lead form people who have opened up or filled out a lead form in the past of however many amount of days you can do that as well the same thing for your Facebook page if you go down there everyone who you can change it up from everyone who engaged with your page people who visited people engaged with a post or an ad people with a call to action people who sent you a message or anything like that you, uh, you can get very granular with what you are going to be targeting inside of these uh, look-alike audiences so after that you can go back and let's just say to finish out the lookalike ad, let's just say I'll go to Facebook page since I'm already here and people who engaged in the past 30, 365 days. And I'll just name this test and I'll go to create audience. And then from here, uh, your custom audience is created. It's going to give you this. And what you want to do is either find new or similar people to your existing users or you can create an ad using this audience so if you're going to be using an ad create using this audience this is more so if you're going for a more branding type of thing so you're reaching out to people reminding them who you are and just staying in front of them this is if you're looking to prospect and build your actual business so uh, let's say you're going to go for this one and for here, this one isn't a lookalike audience yet. This is just your actual custom audience. From here, you wanna create a lookalike audience. And the lookalike audience is based off of a scale down here. And this scale is say, it goes from lowest to biggest. So this one is going to have more in common with your audience two is going to have less three is going to have less four is going to have less five is going to have less etc etc i usually like to keep my look like audiences around one this way i am being hyper targeted because as you can see there is still a ton of people that are inside of uh this audience so i keep it very targeted as targeted as possible and you can just create the audience there so that is it when it comes to lookalike audiences that's pretty much all you're going to need to do to create one play around with it figure out what's going to work best for you what's going to work best for your real estate business if you have you know a certain type of ad that you've ran that's had great results you can create a lookalike audience off of that and that's going to increase the amount of conversions that you had because it's already people that they saw already based off of a successful ad that you had with different targeting so if you've liked this video and you got anything out of it leave it a like down below it lets us know you enjoy these videos and it helps our channel to grow if you have any questions be also be sure to leave them in the comments section we'll be down there answering all questions if you're new subscribe so you're not missing out on any new videos and i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one